Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see what is Azure Cosmos DB for Apache Gremlin and how to create a graph DB using Azure portal. So let's start a graph database in Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Cosmos DB for Apache Gremlin is a graph database service that can be used to store massive graphs within billions of vertices and edges. We can query that graphs with millisecond latency and evolve the graph structure easily. The API for Gremlin is built based on Apache Tinkerpop framework, which is an open source framework and widely used for graph databases. So let's see what are the few common scenarios for using Apache Gremlin APIs, right? If you are working on some project where you have to build some social network related graphs or customer 365 view that you have few customer, how they are related, how they are different, what are the similarity and in similar interest. So that can be stored in this kind of databases. If you want to build some recommendation engine, then also like you have some consumer which is coming into retail uh, industry and then they have some interest for product they are buying something like purchasing browsing or rating an item we can build this customized recommendation based on this low latency elastic scale of native graph support for azure cosmos db right we can build such graphs for logistic and travel planning purpose also to find a location from one location to other and what are the different areas connected and what is the shortest minimum path and optimal route looks like right for logistic if you are working logistic domain or travel planning domain or somewhere that this is one of the way to also look into that one we can use this api and database to build network and connection between IIT device and as a graph and then we can better understand how this works such as like in a factory how many devices are connected and how they are connected with each other so that kind of uh, we can build so these are the few common scenarios for apache gremlin and draft db data as it appears in the real world is naturally connected previously we used to store into relational form right and now we have so much relationship between each data and different kind of relationship it is very tedious or it is very complex to store into natural relational form that's why sometimes it is best suited some kind of data to store into graphical database and uh, a property of graph is composed of vertices and edges and both object can have a key value pair as a properties like that I like someone or I have interest in this sport or I my age is this one that can be done into like into properties like my weight is there we can also put some label over there that which kind of uh, object I am a person or is a device or something like that we can also put so this is how the basic of graph db is let's go ahead and start create the graph db inside azure cosmos and enable gremlin and then we will connect with dotnet application and see how we can populate some graph and how it looks like so for this demo we are inside azure portal and we are inside resource group named softbridge cosmos demo we will create Cosmos DB with Apache Gremlin and then we will play with that by inserting some of the records from .NET application and we will see how it looks like. So let's go ahead and click on create. In marketplace, let's search with Cosmos. We need to create Azure Cosmos DB. And Azure Cosmos DB is fully managed, globally distributed, horizontal, scalable in storage and throughput, multi-model database service. So let's go ahead and create. Now we can see that there are multiple options. We can create Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL, Postgre, MongoDB, Cassandra, Table, and finally Apache Gremlin. We are going with Gremlin option. For NoSQL, we have another video. In this video, we are going with Apache Gremlin. So Apache Gremlin is fully managed graph database service using Gremlin query language based on Apache Tinkerpop project. So let's go ahead and create. So I'm going to give that name and then I'm going to select with serverless and rest I'm going to keep default setting right now. It says that it will take a couple of minutes. So let me click on create and let's wait. Submitted for deployment and deployment is in progress. Now our Cosmos DB with Gremlin has been created. Let's go to resources. Inside this resource, we can say that this is that SDK URI and this is the Gremlin endpoint. Apart from that, uh, we can go and see that right now there is no graphs. 
uh, because if we go into data explorer also we can see that we can create a new graph and also we can go to quick start section and we can download the app once we create the container we can download the app also we can use gremlin console and guided tool apps to do different things uh, like sales graph and other things so i'm going to create a database and graph manually and then we will use a dotnet application to populate and see how it looks like I can first create a new database and then new graph also but let me go with new graph because it gives both options right now we do not have any existing DB so we cannot select that's why I will go with this DB it will give a, any graph name like let's put the person graph right and then partition key we can have with PK uh, and then we will see that let me go ahead and create now if we go and try to run any query and this is very basic query that g dot b about this that uh, we can see that there is nothing right now and if we go and want to see that what is that uh, how to query the data and other details we can go over here and we can see about that and this is what we are going to see some of the query that it has or not right so this is this is the top data we are going to use we about thomas and other details so let's go about uh, in dotnet application i have downloaded this application from github uh, from microsoft uh, sample application and then this takes primary key database container and then it connects creates a gremlin server and then it also uh, creates a gremlin clients and run the query in query we can see what query it runs it runs this query which is right now into dictionary it will first clean up everything all the vertices will be dropped and then it will add vertices three person thomas mary ben and robin four person it is adding then it is adding that thomas knows mary thomas knows ben ben knows robin and thomas age is this detail so all the details and then we have some count mechanism that okay let's find out who has greater than 40 age or what is the first name for people different different things right so let's go ahead and grab our keys for this demo and in key section we can go ahead and we can use that this is our uh, endpoint we have to provide so let's me go ahead into debug section and let's put environment variable for this demo so let's go for host name and then we can get the host name from this endpoint uh, and this will be used because this we are trying to use with the gremlin api and we can go into overview and also we can see that this is that gremlin endpoint so let me grab this details and then we can go input the details from here and then we can go to our gremlin sample app and run so let me step over right now now gremlin client is created and then it will go and run the query so the very first query it is going to run the cleanup anyway we do not have anything right now so let's continue now the second query it will run that it is going to add first property at thomas so i'm going to continue now let's go inside our graph and let's see that how it looks like right so if i run the query then i can see one person thomas and i can drill down the thomas is a graph right now uh, this is the first node but vertices and then we have not connected anything but we can see the different property that this is thomas this is the label as a person first name is thomas age is 44 and pk is my pk let's go ahead and add few more people and now let's run that three people has been added now if we go but there there is no relationship one more people it will add and then do that so right now the fourth people has came right and now if you see that thomas is 44 now it is going to add now thomas knows mary right right now if you see there is nothing relationship between thomas and mary so let me run this query and then 
let's refresh one more time now we can see that graph is being changed thomas is connected to mary mary thomas knows mary and we can see that target thomas and label is uh, knows so that is how that uh, graph is being connected now let's go ahead and see that thomas knows also been so let's run this query now it query run i am executing one more time now we can see that graph is more changed thomas knows mary also thomas knows ben also let's now run that thomas knows uh, ben knows robin so let's run that let's see visualize that how it looks like so right now thomas knows ben ben know uh, thomas knows mary and if we go inside ben then we can see that Ben knows Robin, right? That also we can see that Ben knows Robin. So this is how it is there right now. Thomas knows uh, to Ben, Thomas knows and target is that Robin. Now if we go and see that it is going to update property as a, as a age 44. If we go inside Thomas, it is right now 44. So we can go ahead and 44 it is trying to update query let me change this little bit as 40 i can go ahead and grab this one and also directly i can run from here and say that 40 and run that from this portal now i have to say that this is right now becomes 40 but if i want to see if all the graphs then i have to run that query and i will run now we can see the 40 now once again if we run this dot uh, net code so let's run that now it becomes once again 44 so that is how update works update we can do now we can see that we can have the count also and if we run this count yeah we can see that count is result equals to 4 we can grab this query and we can get this query details from our applications also that how to run that one let me query from this place only so that we can verify and if we go inside this we can run the four if we want to the pull put the filter in other things let's go and put the filters that in person label age greater than 40 i want to see only that for people so this is that right and if we want to put less than then mary is less than 40 39 so that is how we can find the details if you want to see the person names then projection we can do with the help of this command and we can use first name because we do not have right now set up any name so i can go and first name i can grab that and this is how if we see that thomas knows let's see that thomas knows all the people so thomas knows ben and uh, mary and ben and the, uh, if you visualize that one this can be used in a lot of social graphs we generally try to build for different purposes uh, like uh, if we take a hypothetical example of facebook also i know somebody somebody knows other people and somebody knows other people i have many friends so that how we can try to implement the graph way also uh, in a basic manner we can do that so this is what i wanted to share with you today that how cosmos db works with a apache gremlin and how the apache gremlin looks like and what are the different query and benefit for graph db so thank you mm -hmm.